tuko na watoto wa ine na wajukuu wawili na tunampa Bwana sifa zote. Uh, Isaya chapter 3. Isaya tatu kuanzia mstari wa kwanza na wa kuanzia mstari wa kumi na kumi na moja then tutaenda second Peter chapter 2 verse 7 to verse 9 Jose tusome Isaya tatu kumi na kumi na moja wambieni wenye haki ya kuwa watakuwa hevi kwa maana matukuli matunda ya matendo yao ole wake mtu mbaya shari itakuwa kwake Kwa maana atapewa ijara ya mikono yake. Second Peter. Second Peter chapter 7 verse 7 and 9. Second Peter chapter. Chapter Second Peter chapter 2 verse 7 and 9. All right. 7 to 9. Akamuokoa lutu yule mwenye haki aliyehuzunishwa sana na mwenendo wa ufisadi wa hao wa halifu. Maana mtu huyu mwenye haki akikaa kati yao kwa kuona na kusikia alijitesa roho yake yenye haki siku baada ya siku kwa matendo yao yasiyo na sheria. Basi bwana basi bwana ajua kuwaokoa wataua na, wa, na majaribu na kuwaweka wasio haki katika hali ya adhabu hata siku ya hukumu amen bwana abariki the leading of his word tunaweza keti chini nitaanza na nitatangulia kuisema because it came clearly to me that tell the righteous, it shall be well with them. Tell the righteous, it shall be well with them. Angaria Jilani Yako, Mambia, my dear sister, my dear brother, it shall be well with your life. It shall be well with your family. It shall be well with your business. It shall be well with your destiny. It shall be well with the church. It shall be well with our nation. It shall be well with your health. It shall be well with your destiny in Jesus' name. Mwambia aijalishi yale mambo yametuzingira yale mambo tunayaona there is a promise from the Lord it shall be well to the righteous Mwangalie mwambie but to the righteous Ebu muulize are you the righteous of the Lord are you among the righteous of the Lord Bwana Yesu asifiwe Nani tatangulia kusema When the man of God The prophet Isaiah Alikuwa na nena Na kunenea wana wa Israeli The things were very tough Those days In the life of the children of Israel It was a very tough time for them Because it was a time The judgment of God Was upon Jerusalem And upon Judah There was a judgment In their lives And that time God was not happy With the children of Israel And the Bible says In Isaiah chapter 3 From verse 1 to verse 4 Biblia ina explain Isaiah chapter 3 From verse 1 To verse 4 There is a message Ambayo mwana arinena Mahari para kusu Wana wa Israeli The Bible says God was not happy With the children of Israel Na kasama That atachukua He will take away from Jerusalem From Judah the stalker and the stalker able to take an idea in a sema vizuri that it will take at mungu atateka from Jerusalem from Judah and a sema atateka all the supplier of that city of Judah and, and Jerusalem aka declare atateka the supply of the food and water from them because of the wickedness which was with the children of Israel. Hallelujah. In a sema, see now the Lord 
uh, the Lord Almighty is about to take uh, from Jerusalem and Judah both supply and support uh, all supplies of food uh, and all supplies of water because uh, of the wickedness uh, which was going on uh, in the land of Judah in the land of Jerusalem akaendelea kusema mambo matatu in that verse akasema tena he will take away all their leaders akasema to take away their governors their judges their warriors oh my god akasema all the captain all the counselors of that man akasema wote watachukuliwa wataondolewa katika juda katika Jerusalem ya tatu akasema the Jerusalem itakuwa ruled itakuwa inaongozwa with the young people young boys young people ndio watatoka ba Jerusalem ndio watatoka ba Juda because of the weakness angalia jirani muulize unatuona mahali muulize tu and i thank god ile inasema verse 4 of isaiah 3 4 i will make boys boys ukisoma with the message bible inasema i will make babies to be your rulers amendo the officials amendo the governors amendo even the priest ambia jilani it was serious Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana. Aliondoa wote na ka declare that from that time these people watakuwa ruled. Oh my God, inawaita in charge. He says I will put little kids in charge of the city of Judah and Jerusalem. School boys and school girls will order everyone around them it was a serious time it was a very sensitive time it was a very hard time because a boy girl hawezi ongoza na inchi simame a boy or a girl he cannot lead the whole city of Judah the whole city of Jerusalem but God alikuwa amekasirika akasema these people watakuwa ruled na hawa watoto wadogo angalia jilani mwambie tumekataa kuwa ruled na watoto wadogo Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana it was tough na tukirudi back in isaiah 2 verse 7 isaiah chapter 2 verse 7 glory to god inasema and he will say me not i turudi 6 Tuanzie hapo. You have forsaken your people, the house of Jacob, because they say feel with I cannot see. Let me read mine. Ambia jilani na jiona mahali. Bwana Yesu asifiwe na tunajiona mahali. This is Isaiah chapter 
verse 7 Isaiah chapter 2 verse 7 Inasema Their land is full of silver and gold There is no end of their treasures Their land is full of horses There is no end of their chariot Their land is full of idols They bow down to the work of their hands And what their fingers has made So people, so people will be brought low And everyone humbled And everyone humbled Do not forgive them when Yesu asifiwe sana The Bible says uh, The children of Israel uh, Hawakuwa na ja. The Bible says uh, Their land was full With silver and gold Walikuwa wamejaza Horses, chariot Walikuwa imeja Kila kitu But they forgotten their God And they started to worship their money, whatever God has helped them to do with their own hands, wakasaha na mungu wakori and they started to worship the Lord and when they started to worship the Lord that is where God was mad, God was worried, God akasikia vibaya na ndio buwana And everything, but 
that God was not happy, Akai and Thor, and their support was gone, and their support was no more, and their support was not together with them. I want to ask you, my brothers and my sisters, when I look Judah, when I look Jerusalem, I see our nation, I see what is going on, I see what a tough life we are, I see the calamities, I see the famine, I see the sun, I see whatever surrounding our nation, and my heart has a cry when we the church arise and go back to our Mecca and tell God forgive us in Jesus name. When I ask you, when are we going to tell God that we have seen to now naya naya and to now hakuna anything that time the economy of that nation was sour the system was sour the businesses was sour the governors the priest the priest whatever it was sour but because of the sin because of worshiping other god and coming out of the will of god Akawarete chini, akawandoa zote, akawahimireta, akawarete down all the pride. Abairi kwa na wana wa Israeli, akaiweka chini, akawaweka chini, na akawatilia, hati watatawaliwa, na the young people, I want to encourage you, is a high time, we come back to our God and we go down and tell God forgive us we have sinned against your Lord against your word against your will in the name of Jesus we tell God I'm not walking in the light way oh check your life how is your life when our son and our daughter were singing that song make me uh, and more us uh, that we reflect you Lord uh, are we reflecting uh, our Savior Jesus uh, in our working process uh, in our home uh, in our business uh, in our ministries wakikuangalia uh, wanaona yesu ama wanaona kiburi wakikuangalia wanaona yesu ama wanaona atakama hakuna amen kia amen ya mam na wachungaji hapa mwana yesu asifiwe it's not my message alone it's mine it's yours nimelia na ninaambia bwana nisaidie look at our nation today economy is coming down exactly like the life of those children of Israel it is coming down life is very hard life is very hard these days we are why there is something but remember our message it shall be well but not to all to the lashes inaendelea kutuambia ama vile nilikuwa naandika the businesses are coming down i can count 
in our area of business zile zimefungwa zile wanauza hata saa hii they are stock and they are shops they are many big businesses zime corrupt big one nemi tuchumi na kumata zote zimeanguka but i want to tell you to the righteous it shall be well with them hallelujah jobs watu wame roast their jobs watu wamefutwa haujui utafanya nini haujui utakimbia wapi our support has been brought down our support has been brought down and our god is a faithful god He is a loving God. He is a caring God. He is a merciful God. He is ready to change our lives. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. And before ni endele because niko na mambo maine. Before ni endele nataka uchambue maisha yako. How is your life? How is your life? How is your work with your God? Because one person in Joshua chapter 1 there is one person aliitwa Akan akanarienda akavita vitu na walikuwa wamesema wasichukue and when akan arificha na shida ikapatikana when they were going for battles wakakuta au small town ilitwa ai iliwachapa na ilikuwa a very small town oh my god and when the man of god Joshua alienda kulilia bwana akimuuliza what is going on what is happening aliambia usinililie kuna dhambi imetendeka kwa wana wa Israeli the bible says akawauliza na wakatolewa clan to clan family to family na family ya Akan ikapatikana one person can make a judgment and many evil things they happen to the life of the people of God but one person can stand in the gap and repent and the whole town and the whole nation born out the judgment now actually his masses which are new every morning how is your life how is your life i thank god today don't want me to finish that there is power in the blood of jesus in a bosha than bizote na najua asubuhi ya leo before niendele tutalilia bwana tutaambia bwana tusamehe kwa yote tumetenda kwa uovu tumetenda kwa mambo imetuzingira bwana tusamehe na ninaamini i was telling women in the willing women that what is happening maybe even in kachiado ndio tumekosea mungu sana we need to repent bwana yesu asifiwe sana we need to tell god forgive us and i was very keen in the time of campaign and i saw one of us alikuwa anasimama kwa kanisa alikuwa anaenda naombewa but nikaona a creep nilitumiwa na intercessor mmoja wa gong akiniambia Jen we need to pray walikuwa kwa wachawi wakiombewa sijui nani aliwachukua wakizingirwa na kila kitu ukiona damu kwa besen kila kitu hatujui tumefanya nini tume worship nini but our god is ready to forgive us check your life bwana yesu asifiwe katika isaya chapter
one. Joseph Some verse eighteen. Iri tuombe alaf twendele na hiyo inkine. And it is my prayer that all of us to tambi abona to same na to tasema abona asame dambi za kanisa dambi za inchi dambi ambazo zinaendelea even to our children because the sin which is going on it is too much na ikifikia mungu analiat bwana yesu asifiwe ebu tusome hiyo haya njoni tusemezane asema bwana dhambi zenu zijapokuwa nyekundu sana zitakuwa nyeupe kama theluji zijapokuwa nyekundu kama bendera zitakuwa kama sufu bwana yesu asifiwe sana this morning this afternoon god is calling us check your life with the living ama the children of Israel or Judah and Jerusalem whatever was happening it is happening to us today but god alitumia mtumishi wake Isaiah again akamwambia ambia wana wa Israeli that wanirudie hata kama dhambi zao ni nyekundu namna gani ama ziko aje i'm ready to forgive them i'm ready to watch every sin our god is calling us as a church that we go down and tell god forgive us our god is calling us as men and women to go down and repent of our sin and repent of the sins in the name of jesus our god is calling all the young people to go down and tell god oh forgive us oh let us come and settle the matter as we repent before our god he's ready to forgive us and when i to some to turn a voice ikinyasha to turn a chakura ikipatikana to turn a biashara zikifunguka god is waiting for me and you to go down and to tell god oh forgive us i want to encourage you in proverbs 28 verse 13 in a sema proverbs 28 verse 13 oh the bible says whoever conceals their sins does not prosper whoever hides the sin whoever am by i declare the sin ataweza to prosper a nation which cannot or declare the sin and the wickedness am by and our nation cannot prosper oh but the one who confesses and renounces it oh my god the bible says he find mercy as we repent as we declare we are sinners we are sin we have done evil as a nation as a church as a family our god actually the masses upon our lives our businesses will prosper our churches will prosper our sons and daughters what a prosper even academically they will prosper oh my god help us lord that we declare only now all of our sins in the name of jesus hosea 14 hosea 14 oh chapter 1 in asama return israel return to the lord your god is my prayer as a church we are going to 
return to our maker. We are going to return with a heart of repentance. Return to the Lord. You are God. Your sin has been. You are downfall. in the nation the sin in our families the sin in our working process simefanya kuena downfall of our lives downfall of the economy downfall of many marriages Uliza jilani toreo hamwe Bana Yesu asifiwe So we need to go down And tell God Forgive us We return Back To our God Inamisha tukichwa chako Kama unaweza Naruga yako Tunaambia buwana Sisi wenyewe kwanza Tusamehe Tusamehe Wengine tumeinuliwa Kiburi imetukanyanga Kiburi kingia Hawezi elewa Oh tell God Search my life Oh today dear father If our sin Has been our downfall as a church of Lord forgive us forgive us every iniquity every wickedness every evil Lord we have done in the sacred prose here dear Lord we declare it oh declare it oh Oh, the enemy, Lord, and 
Ivota was raised a God in our country, in our nation. Here we are. Oh, we prayed. Oh, we prayed for the blood of Jesus. Oh, the blood. Oh, the blood. Oh, the blood to bring every voters. Oh, down, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Let's 
ya mapenzi yake oh tonai no oh taya bwana in our county we declare the altar of god in our homes of god in our county of god in our businesses in the name of jesus the altar of god the altar of god Thank you Jesus. Have you way dear Lord have you way Have you way dear Lord have you way Have you way dear Lord have you way Lamentation 3.22 Inasema his mercies are new every morning Bwana Yesu asifiwe Mambo hayo mengine matatu Nita declare, tutaomba Alafu, tutamariza That one, dia ilikuwa mzigo sana in my heart Nasasa, angalia jilani Mwambie damu ya Yesu imekuosha you are a righteous person na sasa ndio nitaendelea after all that and whatever was happening in the life of the children of Israel again the Lord sent his prophet Isaiah with a word of encouragement with a word of encouragement to his people na kamwambia tell the righteous it shall be well with them bwana yesu asifiwe sana and i believe this is our word now whatever you are passing through whatever the challenge whatever the sickness whatever the failure whatever surrounding your life the darkness surrounding your life the word of the prophet Isaiah is not speaking to the children of Israel it is speaking to me it is speaking to you and Jehovah God and Asema tell the righteous it shall be well with them it shall be well with your life it shall be well with your career in the name of Jesus it shall be well with that business it shall be well with your sons with your daughters in the name of Jesus it shall be well with your marriage chapia bwana yesu makofi 
ya ajabu ambia jirani it shall be well sikiza mali tumesomewa na jose second peter 2 7 to 9 this was a man aliitwa lot a righteous man aliyeishi in those days and the bible says wickedness it was so much evil things it was so much but this man akamo kusimama with the righteousness akawalk with the ways of the lord na wote wakamaliziwa atamke wake lakini yeye akasimama akakombolewa katikati ya watu wenye weakness i want to encourage you the word imeja weakness in our offices weakness in our businesses weakness i want to encourage you stand with your god walk in the ways of the lord katikati ya those weakness he will rescue you ambia jilani sitaenda na hii weakness muhubirie muambie acha wote wafanye everything i will stand firm bwana yesu asifiwe sana and as you stand firm our god atakushindania god will deliver us from this weakened generation in the name of Jesus na nikaandika i declare i will be a woman who will walk in the righteousness of the lord hebu jitabulie just prophesy upon your life and be a god i will be a man a young man who will walk in the righteousness of the lord we are in a very tough time sicknesses diseases all over economies businesses marriages but i want to encourage you god have sent a message to us god have sent a word it is well with what you are passing through don't worry when god anasema it is well anajua kuna deni anajua kuna shida anajua kuna challenge lakini anasema it is well ibu angalia jilani muambie it is well it is well sijaripa nyumba watoto hawajarudi shule but it is well bwana yesu asifiwe sana nyumba sijaripa sijui itakuwa aje but it is well glory to god anasema tell the righteous it is well na kisema it is well in his own way he will make a way where there seems to be no way na ninaenda kumalizia tuombe no matter the situation no matter the circumstance no matter the shame no matter the reproach do not be discouraged do not be afraid do not lose hope do not give up hallelujah god is going to work out whatever you are facing in jesus name god himself jesus christ himself will work it out ambia jilani is not you to work it our god will work it out for you the righteous has attention from god hili nitia moyo sana the righteous the attention of god is upon the righteous the eyes of god is upon the righteous the mind of god is upon the righteous i want to encourage you 
you desire to walk in the righteousness of the Lord and if attention of God is upon you if the eyes of God is upon you he's well able to turn every situation around glory to God number one in my reason Pastor Eleven and Joro get to toil offering. And an army in Proverb chapter 11, verse 8. My son Jose, Alienda, Proverb, Proverb chapter 11. Glory to God. Hallelujah. It shall be well with our families. It shall be well with our bishop, our mom, our pastors, our deacons, all of us. It shall be well with us. Glory to God. Proverbs chapter 11, verse 8. The Bible says, Sikiza. Isn't it to declare? The righteous person is rescued from troubles. The righteous person is rescued from trouble. And it falls on the weekend instead. I thank God because we have repented. And the Bible is telling us a righteous person, our God will rescue us. And I want to tell you, it shall be well with your life, with your family, because our God will rescue you. Nani kangaria the meaning of rescue. Irikwa inasema at it deriving somebody from a danger or a difficult situation. Kwa hivyo our God anaenda ku rescue our lives, our families, our children, our properties. Because when I was preparing this message, Nikas Dikuta praying, Lord, let's kill our houses, our cars, Ambazo Zinataka Kwenda, now Shonia, now to a bank. I want to encourage you as you stand, as the righteous of God, our God will rescue your house in Jesus name our God will rescue that car our God will rescue those things of house it will be Akisema I will rescue at a rescue the debt you have in his own way at a rescue I had a friend Many years, like five years ago, the house, a very beautiful house, ilikuwa inaenda kwa jiri ya pesa kidogo iliza iliza. And I remember I was telling that woman of God, our God will fight for you. Inawekwa kwa gazeti, watu wanaingia kwa boma, wanaiangalia. But I want to tell you, we have a father in heaven who is well able to rescue that house haikuenda ndio anaka baka waleo angalia jilani muulize ni nini hiyo bwana yesu asifiwe our god will deliver us from all our troubles not only about money biblia inasema all our troubles na tatusaidia na zitaangukia the weekend people so don't desire to be a weekend person. Amesema itatoka, itaangukia hao wengine. Pana Yesu asifiwe. <laughs> Proverb 10, 25. Naendelea kumalizia. Proverb 10, 25.
inasema when the storm has swept by the weekend are gone when the storm has swept by the weekend are gone but the righteous stand firm forever the righteous stand firm forever our families we stand firm forever our church we stand firm forever your business we stand firm forever as you stand right with your god everything pertaining your life we stand firm forever your career we stand firm forever your ministry we stand firm forever glory to god forever glory to god our sons and our daughters in the midst of the wickedness in our nation in our schools because of your righteousness our children will stand firm forever bwana yesu asifiwe sana angalia jirani mwambie everything everything in your life we stand firm forever the last one tuombe proverb 10 proverb chapter 10 verse 30 glory to god tutasimama tukimalizia hii because we are going to pray and then we are shining the man of god atuombe simama tu na bible yako simama tu yes god will rescue us god will make us to stand firm na ndio ametuambia it shall be well with us because he will fight every battle in the name of jesus isaiah proverb 10:30 proverb 10:30 na sema the righteous will never be uprooted the righteous the righteous will never be uprooted the children of the righteous will never be uprooted glory to god our businesses hata watu wote wanaokuzingira waende kwa witch doctor wafanye everything i want to encourage you your business will not be uprooted in jesus name glory to god your ministries will not be uprooted glory to god our destiny our destiny and the destiny of our children and the destiny of our husband and the destiny of our careers and the destiny of our ministry will never ever 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 be uprooted in the name Jesus Glory to God The benefit of being light with God Inua mikono yako ambia Bwana asante I'm a candidate in Proverbs 11 You are spoken Lord You are rescuing us rescuing our families rescuing our children from every trouble in the name of Jesus oh lord almighty oh no storms will carry us lord we will stand firm 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 firm, firm. 
Oinua mikono yako Ambia bwana ama candidate Ama candidate Of rescue Ama candidate Of standing firm Ama candidate I will never be a protad In the name of Jesus In the name of Jesus In the name of Jesus Rikaya riba Rianto robo kanda Osha kayanta Riazo koriba If there is sickness Ameri kwe nataka kwa prota You are live Her time And his time Is over No sickness Will approach our lives In the name of Jesus Rika raba kanda Thank you, Jesus. Our Heavenly Father, we worship you. We worship you. We appreciate you. We appreciate you for your goodness. Wewe ni muema. Wewe ni muaminifu mungu. Asante buwana kwa kunena pamoja na maisha yetu. Katika ma mwenye haki atakoborewa buwana. Kutoka kwa kira maovu. Katika jina la Yesu. Yesu tunakupenda. Yesu tunakutukuza. Kanisa si tutukue na fasi ya dakika moja. Tumuabudu buwana kwa wema na fathiri zake. Katika jina la Yesu. Just take a minute and worship, worship the Lord, worship the Lord, our heavenly Father, we worship you, our heavenly Father, we honor you, our heavenly Father, we exalt you, thank you because we will never be uprooted, thank you Jehovah, because you are going to rescue us, in the name of the Lord, we worship you, we worship you, we appreciate you, we appreciate you, Tuna kutukuza mungu, tuna kutukuza, tuna kutukuza, tuna kutukuza, tuna kutukuza, pokea sifa mungu, pokea shukurani. Asanti Yesu, asanti mwono wa mungu. Thank you Jesus.